stress. Remind me seventh grade, little shocking my guess. I ain't gon' lie, shit, I had it back then. 840, I can lease by 10. So fuck it all, shit, I'm going out tonight, though. Drink till I'm fucked up like them white folks. I want to start with Bitcoin yeah. because I've seen, you know, I know you've been asked about Bitcoin in various interviews and I know you spoke about 50,000 Bitcoin, how it's not impossible. No, it's not. Right? So I want to get your thoughts on cryptocurrency. Where does Doug Casey see it right now? I'm very, very pro cryptocurrencies. Uh, look, they're fiat currencies created out of nothing, like the dollar. And as people eventually move into more and more electronic currencies, it's bound to happen because everybody has a, a smartphone. And the government is trying to get rid of $100 bills, $50 bills, even $20 bills. The government is pushing people in this direction. The thing is, is when the U.S. government comes out with its own cryptocurrency, which it will, I'm not going to want to use it. Because at the point that they do, they're going to know everything you own, everything you buy, everything you sold, everything about you totally, financially, because it's all about money. So the U.S. government is all for it. But uh, you don't want to use theirs. You want to use a private thing like Bitcoin. I missed, <clears throat> initially, I was promoted on Bitcoin when it was only $13. And what I missed about it is... What's the value of it? And I miss the fact that it's as a transfer device. It allows you to get money anywhere in the world without using a bank or the SWIFT system. It can be done directly, party to party. And this is why Bitcoin is likely to continue growing. Why? Because 75% of the people on the planet have to use currencies like watches and pulas and pesos, which are worthless outside their own issuing country and not worth much within the country. So uh, since almost all the people in the world are going to have smartphones in a few years, it's the first thing people in Africa and places like that buy after they have food, shelter, and clothing, they're going to be using Bitcoin uh, for their savings and so forth. It's going to get bigger. So when you hear talk of you know 50,000, heck, some people have said 100,000 Bitcoin. It's not absurd to you. It's it's. Uh, you know, it's, it's already a bubble uh, as a speculation. Yeah. It's a little late in the game for an intelligence speculation. The time to have done that was several years ago. I missed the boat. But um, about four months ago, I bought a bunch of these things. And I've about doubled my money. But I've got an itchy trigger finger on the sell side because they're not going to grow to the sky. Anything could happen. Yeah. Um, you know, a lot of viewers that come up to me will say, you know, I, I, I just don't understand Bitcoin. You know, even if there are all the videos and research I've been doing, yeah. I just, you know, so it's, it's really still misunderstood, right? People just don't get it. A lot of people don't get it, right? Well, look, it's actually a fiat currency. It's just a private currency. I mean, it has about as much intrinsic value as the dollar itself does. So do you think it's, it's fair when people debate it and want to compare it to gold? Well, look, it, what it's going to be is it's going to be a gateway drug to gold. Because when people buy Bitcoin or these other things, they're intuitively asking themselves, wait a minute, why am I selling my fiat dollars for a fiat Bitcoin? And then they might start examining, what is the dollar? Does anything back it? What's the nature of currency? What's the nature of economics? How does this relate to gold? And um, certainly as the dollar uh, is inflated at a faster rate in the future, because, you know, the U.S. government is running in, they say, good times right now, a $600, $650 billion annual deficit. When times get tough, I think very soon, it's long overdue, they'll be running a trillion-dollar deficit, trillion-and-a-half-dollar deficit. People aren't going to want to hold dollars, and especially with the Chinese uh, trying to um, make the yuan the international currency and replace the dollar, there's going to be wholesale dumping of dollars. That's, this is going to be good for Bitcoin. Let's talk about the rally that 2017 saw for equities, a record highs here. Um, and I've had people coming on now saying, look, you know...